Mr. Light? Like wow, you have the brightest light in the house. Well, you're the brightest star in the house. <laughs> so, Black Tree TV, I got a special guest for you. Miss Google and Bath Raw. We've loved so many of your projects. I mean, starting from Larry Crown, and then you had this amazing year with Belle and Beyond the Lights and Jupiter Ascending, and you have a new movie coming out with Keanu. I just, how does it feel just to be like in this rhythm now? I mean, I know you worked so hard to get your movie career like really jumping off, but how does it feel like to be that person now and just to be like a hot commodity? <laughs> Um, it feels lovely. I mean, it's been a wonderful year. You know, 2014 was incredibly busy and really exciting. And this year is sort of already setting up to be, you know, equally, if not more exciting. So um, for me, it's lovely to be able to build on a body of work. And, and I feel really privileged to be able to be telling stories I'm passionate about and inspired by. When you do projects that are in the mix and in the conversation for awards like Bell and Beyond the Lights. I mean, how does, how does that affect the next projects you pick? Are you, are you like more particular about the projects you pick after that because you've kind of set this groundwork with these other projects? Uh, in some ways, I think, you know, particularly for me with Bell and then Beyond the Lights, those were my first lead roles. So, um, and it's not just that I'm looking for lead roles, but I think that they were also films that had a, a message to them and um, a consciousness and, a, a, um, you know, in terms of elevating the culture and, and either maybe raising a discussion. And, and obviously you can't find that in every project, but I think that um, having done those roles, I, I'm more aware of that. And I, I do look for that in, in other films, you know, for example, the, the concussion film, just completed with Will Smith you know that has a you know a topical debate issue around it and um, and that for me is exciting because if you can also make art but also do something that is um, you know in the news and maybe can can further um, our culture I think that that's sort of um, the, the best kind of work to be doing so many f actors from across the pond whether it's Idris or David or Boyega or you I've come over here and found so much success. What what's happening over there as far as films that makes coming to the American film market like such a like destination for British actors? Wow. Well, I think, you know, it's just such a difference in scale in the UK, you know, and I have been so fortunate with Belle. That was really, you know, a, a completely British production through and through. And for me, um, that was my, my springboard to film really here. So um, I think, you know, in the UK, it's a bit more quality over quantity, you know, so, so those little gems, you might not get every tons of them every year you might get one here and there um, but you know th there's no doubt that, that the quality of talent is there um, and, and also here you know there's just uh, so many great things being made so many dynamic writer directors um, and, and again the sense of scale here is is you know and, and Hollywood is is the home of, of movie making so you know it makes sense that, that, that that's where you know everybody ends up regardless of, of where they began well, thanks for stopping by you're so gorgeous. My mic is shaking. Thanks for, we, we can't wait to see you get awarded tonight at the AFCAS. And thank you and good luck on everything. Thank you so much. Thank you.